I want to show you a couple things that I've built for myself that are going to massively improve the way that you record your YouTube videos. The first is a custom info display built into OBS that shows things like your audio levels, your OBS stats, a rule of thirds, and the killer feature, whenever I hit the record button in OBS, it automatically draws a red border around my camera so that I know for sure that it's recording. And I have this info display just on my monitor off to the side so I can just glance over to it. And the idea is that I don't wanna to have to like turn my head completely to check if I'm recording in OBS and then look at the camera and then look back and stop recording, which I'm gonna do right now. And also, how many times have you muted your mic only to finish a recording and realize you didn't, you just no audio. Well, with this, whenever I mute my mic, it draws a gigantic mute icon on the screen so that I'll know for sure that it's muted. And the second thing I've built is a set of custom scripts for my stream deck. I don't know about you guys, but the way that I record my YouTube videos is I normally hit record in OBS, look at the camera, say a few lines, and then hit stop recording. But the problem with this setup is I hate having to mouse over to OBS, hit record and then stop record. And then like, if I mess up a line, I have to like drag my mouse over again to my OBS folder and like delete that file and then restart it again. So as you can see in my stream deck, I've made a set of custom buttons. And if I want to play back my latest recording in OBS, I just tap this button here, or button in OBS, it automatically draws a red border and it, it just opens, it opens that recording full screen. See that again, play it again, opens the last recording. It automatically and then I can press quit and then and it'll quit. And then if I want to save that recording, let's just say that recording was good and I want to save it. I can press the keep button and then look what happens to that video. If I press keep, boom, it gets like sucked up into this, into this keep folder over here. Or let's just say I like, I messed up that recording and I want to delete it. I can press this button that says delete and that recording, it, it gets sucked up into my trash folder. Basically I can record an entire YouTube video and never have to touch my mouse one time. And combined with that custom info display, I barely have to look away from the camera either. I can just quickly glance over to get quick information and then look up again. And all of this was completely free. I built this custom info display and I'm releasing that for free today. The scripts for the Stream Deck, those are also free. And also the Stream Deck app itself is also free for Android and iPhone. You get six buttons and then 10 pages completely for free. So this whole setup, you don't have to pay a single dime for. However, if you did wanna shell out a little bit of extra money and get an Elgato prompter, you can put that custom info display on your prompter and really never look away from your camera. And then if you get the Stream Deck pedals, you can put those custom Stream Deck scripts on your feet. So you could like do that keep and delete button. You can like, you can do all that without ever having to use your hands at all. There's not a single video on YouTube that's gonna show you how to do this stuff because again, I build all this stuff myself. Unless some dude in Russia is stealing all my shit. In which case, stop doing that. This is my livelihood, bro. Uh, but yeah, if, if you guys uh, wanted to see how this is all done, I'm gonna show you right now. Stop being cringe and paying full price for Windows with our sponsor, VIP SD Keys. You can get a Windows 11 license for as low as $21. Just use my code NUTTY at checkout to get them for 30% off. And if you want to get them for a little bit cheaper, you can get a Windows 10 key for $15, and those can be updated to Windows 11 completely for free. You can pay using a secure payment method like PayPal. They'll send you an activation code immediately, and then you can put that in your Windows settings, and you're good to go. Check out VIP SD keys in the link down below. What's up, homie? I'm back. Gotta have a quick snack. It's blazing hot down here. Jesus Christ. All right, okay. I'm ready. So, first... I wanna talk about that info display. I designed it to be like those info displays that you see on real cameras. The main thing that I wanted to do was minimize the amount that I need to whip my head back over at OBS. I wanna be looking at my camera as much as possible. I just spat out my mouth. So the info display is just a browser source that you can add into OBS. So you don't need to install anything. It's not a plugin. It's just a single source that you could pop out and drag anywhere you want on your monitor. There's a link to it down below. It's also on my new website, nutty.gg, spelt just like that in your browser. 
That's where you can get all of my custom made widgets, by the way, as well as like my Patreon exclusive widgets if, if you want to support the channel and get something cool out of it as well. Uh, but the instructions for installing this info display, again, it's on the website. So there's a whole, there's written instructions that you can follow. But the TLDR is that you just grab this link over here and then add that as a browser source in OBS and you're pretty much done. You will have to put in your OBS WebSockets password, which you can find up in the toolbar up here. Make sure to turn WebSockets if you don't have that turned on. This just lets your uh, OBS communicate with the widget so it can like, you know, get your OBS stats and whatever. And then just copy the password and paste that at the end of the URL like this. If you did it correctly, it should say connected briefly and then it should automatically just start displaying your OBS stats. And then on the right hand side, there will be an FPS meter. Now, obviously you don't want this overlay showing over your actual recordings. So the way to use it is to add the browser source into its own dedicated scene. And then underneath that browser source, you wanna put your camera. Then you can right click on the scene itself and create a window projector of just that scene. And so that way, even when you change scenes in OBS, when you like change to the scene that you actually want to record, you can still see that preview anywhere you want on your monitor. And since it's a windowed preview, you can make it full screen. You, you can you can put it in the corner, wherever you want to put it. And then you can pretty much just hit record in OBS and it, it just works. The red ring will automatically appear with all your OBS stats along the bottom. The bar on the right, again, that's an FPS meter. So if you ever start losing frames, you'll see that bar go down. You won't see your mic levels by default. For that, you will need to tell the widget what the name of your microphone source is. You just add that to the end of the browser source. Again, it's it tells you how to do it on the website. If you did it right, you should see the audio meter on the left reacting to your voice. It will also show a big red mute symbol every time you hit the mute button in OBS. Unfortunately, I can't make that mute button appear if, you, if your mic has like a physical mute button, but at the very least, if, if you muted in OBS, you'll see a giant red mute symbol in the middle of the screen. One last thing I added are these custom overlays. If you record YouTube shorts or TikToks, if you ever shoot in vertical format, it's hard to know which parts of the video are gonna be covered up by the buttons on the right hand side. So I made these templates for TikTok and YouTube shorts that show you exactly where all those buttons are gonna be. And all you need to do to get those to show on screen is to type in ampersand background equals YouTube shorts or TikToks. Again, there's a list of available backgrounds on the website. But yeah, that's the info display. You can throw this on a big monitor just off to the side so you can glance at it when you need it. My favorite way to use this is to project it onto an Elgato prompter. I'm literally using one right now to film this video. So to you guys, it looks like I'm looking directly into the camera, but I'm actually looking at a projection of myself with my script over the top of it so I can read it out to you. So if you have an Elgato prompter, uh, this works perfect for that. And I do have 5% discount code. So if you want to save some money, you can buy a prompter and then I make money too, which is super cool. Bro, that is a lot of yapping, homie. What about the stream deck? Okay, let's talk about the stream deck now. So, second thing I made are these custom stream deck buttons. Again, I'll link those in the description. I, there's all, they're all show up on the website. I have an article that shows you how to set these up, but they're basically simple batch script files. One of the scripts just opens up the last thing that you recorded inside of VLC player, opens it up full screen and automatically closes it when it's done playing. One of the scripts deletes the last recording and then the last one moves the recording into its own folder. To add the scripts onto your stream deck, you just find them in the link in the description box. It's a free download. You should see all of these files here and you pretty much just select the script that you want and then drag that onto a button on your stream deck. Now, there will be a settings INI file that you will have to edit. So just right click and edit this. And all you need to do is put in the directory of your OBS recordings folder. So for me, mine is here, save that. And then we can put custom icons in this as well. So I, I did include some custom icons. So for this, this open last video, we can drag the keep icon over the stream deck button and then remove the title. 
And then we just rinse and repeat for all the buttons. You should end up with a profile that looks like this. And it should start working right away. So if I hit the playback button on the Stream Deck app on my phone, it's gonna open up and the video that- working right away. So it's actually gonna the load up the video I'm recording right now. I can hit quit and I'll close VLC and, uh, and then hit stop recording. By the way, uh, yes, you will need VLC installed on your computer for that playback button to work. And I also included an extra script in there that simply closes VLC if you wanna end the playback early. But yeah, this has completely changed the way that I record YouTube videos. I know that kind of sounds like an overstatement, but like I could, I could sort my videos as I'm recording so I don't have to do as much work in, in editing. And all this is free, like the scripts are free because I, I'm releasing them for free. The Stream Deck app is free for both Android and iPhone. You do only get six buttons, but like six buttons is all you need. Like I, this, this is literally what I'm using to re record this YouTube video. And like, you don't need to pay for this. Of course, if you do have a physical Stream Deck, you could set up physical Stream Deck buttons exactly the same way. Or if you have a set of Stream Deck pedals, you could like set up the middle pedal for like recording the video and then like the left and the right can be like your keep and delete buttons and then and then you can like use you can like use all your hand gestures and then like control your whole thing using your feet. But man, that that combo of the pedals with the custom info display and the prompter, man, it's tight. It's tight, it's just tight, tight, yo. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, if you guys like this video, uh, check out the new website if you haven't already. Again, nutty.gg, spelled just like that in your browser. There's tons of free widgets that you could guys, something add your, something like that. Yep, do something with those widgets. Also the Patreon exclusive widgets if you wanna get even fancier stuff. Uh, people really love my Ocarina of Time widget, which lets your viewers play the Ocarina from Zelda. And then also, uh, yeah, come watch me on Twitch. You guys can talk to me there. You can guys, you can ask me questions. I may not answer them, but you you guys can ask me questions anyway and make me look like 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 a big shot and all fame and stuff. Anyway, get out of here, okay? Go somewhere else. Go outside and get off. Scroll. Go to bed or something.